<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to this week's book review and the book of this week will be The Tiger's Prey by Wilbur Smith. This is the first novel I've ever read by Wilbur Smith. This book was released on September 7th, 2017, which only makes it at this point like four months old, four or five months old. It is 426 pages long, and I rather enjoyed it. I had no idea who Wilbur Smith was. I've never heard of this book before. Uh, where I work, they sell books also. I was walking by, I was looking for a a book to read and this one caught my eye and I'm glad it did. It takes place in the 18th century and it follows the Courtney clan and supposedly this is like the most recent installment of this ongoing I guess series of books that follow the Courtney clan. Uh, that being said anything relevant from previous novels dealing with the Courtney clan anything that's relevant to this specific book is explained. So I never felt like I'm missing out because, oh, I never read the previous ones. Will I read the previous ones? Probably. I intend to. But I didn't feel like I was lost on the knowledge of this one. Now, the plot. I've tried many times to explain this, but the family dynamics make it kind of tricky. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try not to spoil anything. Here it goes. Tom Courtney is the main character. He is a sea fear. He's, he is Tom Courtney. He is one of the Courtney clan. And from my interpretation and my reading of the book, he's kind of the black sheep of the Courtney clan because everyone else seems to be a little bit sinister, a little bit more like underhanded, kind of like always turning their backs on each other. Whereas this guy's like, he just seems like a good guy all around throughout the book. Okay. Then there's Francis Courtney. Francis Courtney is Tom Courtney's nephew. Francis Courtney leaves his home in England because of his stepfather's gambling debts. He's forced to leave. And he, for some reason, not to get into too much detail, he, he vows to take revenge on his biological father by killing Tom Courtney. When he meets Tom Courtney and tries to kill him, he fails. Tom Courtney then explains that he, he misunderstood that it was all in an act of self-defense. I'm not going to go any further. But long story short, they end up from being that Francis was trying to kill Tom. They become like a father-son dynamic. They're uncle and nephew. But anyway, Tom Courtney is like the father figure to Francis Courtney and teaches him and, and helps him grow into a man, etc. On the other hand, then there's Christopher Courtney. Christopher Courtney is another nephew that lives that is from another brother of Tom Courtney he leaves his father because his father's an asshole and doesn't uh, want him to marry a certain woman and won't condone him won't give him the money to do his own life live his own life because he doesn't approve of this woman that he wants to marry so Christopher leaves and says screw you I'm gonna do it on my own he then goes through a series of uh, hardening adventures he joins a pirate ship they treat him like garbage he gets betrayed many times he then learns some like he's stranded on an island he learns martial arts like uh like an india like this is in india like an indian form of martial arts um then he becomes a bandit and he just just constantly <laughs> he swirls down it's kind of like a breaking bad for christopher situation where he kind of is this good-hearted, kind-hearted person, but then just life kind of hardens him and tr makes him a killer and a, a, like just has this chip on his shoulder. And he's constantly, as the story progresses, he's constantly meeting it like Tom Courtney. They don't know who, they don't realize who each other is. And they're constantly going up against each other in battles and such. And they don't realize who each other are. So... That's the family dynamic of the story, which makes it really interesting because on, on the same note, like I said, the talk, sorry, Francis and Tom are this father-son dynamic as, as Tom, Francis trying to kill Tom at one point and then they developed this bond where Chris was just doing his own thing, Christopher was just doing his own thing, and then he becomes this like jaded, uh, hardened, like 
sociopath almost, whatever you want to call it. Um, so then, the plot is hard to really get into without spoiling anything, but long story short, what's really well done is this takes place in the 18th century, like I said. And for me, I really like the pirate theme. I like that in books and movies and things like that. And the first opening sequence of the book is a, a naval pirate battle where anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> but what makes this what like Wilbur Smith I really uh, enjoy his writing because I feel like I'm le I'm learning something in the process because I feel like it's there's a lot of historical accuracy obviously not with the main storyline but like the setting, the time period, like how the trading trade works and like the wherever it is. So it's in India and like, oh, it's monsoon season. So uh, traders don't go on their boats or their ships because it's dangerous. So trading stops kind of like in the winter, whatever their monsoon season is called. Just makes it more like you feel like you're there almost like that. He does a really good job of that and he doesn't overdo it either. Like some authors tend to really like Tolkien or whatever like really get into detail of the scene and the say he did, I think Wilbur Smith does the right amount and he keeps it very accurate like every like when it's a, talking about a, 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 sh, a, a naval battle or a nautical battle or whatever like like manning the cannons and the how they do it like things that I never like think and I'm thinking like I'm not an author but I think to myself if I ever have to write a book now thinking like this this level of of like detail things like that I don't know this kind of stuff anyway <laughs> I'm going on a little tangent here I'm just really impressed by his his translating I guess his knowledge of this of the time period into like a story and making you feel like you're really there so some highlights of of like in terms of action uh, there's what's interesting too is Tom Courtney is on the defensive side of a siege where he has to lead up uh, lead a group of people and protect the castle that's under siege and then later in the book he's on the opposite end where he's like leading an assault onto a different castle onto a different fortress and so you see both sides of the siege which I don't feel like I see very often in, in a in one book let's say where the the protagonist is going from defending in a siege situation to attacking right things like that I, I don't know I'm into like that kind of stuff strategy and those kind of things so that's why I find it interesting so yeah and I'm rambling on so like let's leave it at that okay this book was really well done Wilbur Smith crushed it um, I'm definitely gonna read I actually have it right in front of me I'm gonna read another book of his from a different series that's in the Egyptian series also I find that stuff fascinating but yeah <laughs> that's it Wilbur Smith the Tiger's Prey really enjoyed this book uh, check it out and that's all I have to say thanks for watching guys uh, as I said I'm gonna keep trying to do more and more um, oh my god I don't, I don't know how to speak anymore uh, <laughs> book reviews I got here's a little sneak what's this who's that as to what may come soon maybe not next week but soon enough it's a comic book anyway that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked, if you like my book reviews. Uh, please like the video if you like it. Sorry if I ramble on, but yeah, as you can tell, I kind of got into it as I was explaining it because when, when I'm thinking back, yeah, this was really an enjoyable book. Take care. Have a great week. Enjoy.